Many people in the east are still feeling the impact of Hurricane Matthew. However, one family we've been following was fortunate enough to get some help from an unlikely source. WNCT's Tamara Scott is here to explain. Tamara. Many times we tell you stories of people who overcome adversity with the help from their community. But it's not often we show you the people behind the curtain who help them get there. Here's a story of one woman who's left an impact on not only a family, but a whole community. It's not that she never met a stranger, but when she met you, you instantly felt comfortable with her. She, she's a great person. Dana Waters, a police officer, daughter, and wife. She had stage four uh, glioblastoma, okay. brain tumor. A lot of people didn't even know she was as sick as she was because she just, she didn't let it stop her. That includes Mary Talley and her family. We, we saw the story about the, the people um, from the hurricane and they were sleeping on the tents and they were sleeping, you know, and it's cold and they're sleeping on the ground and she just kind of looked at me. Yeah, it broke her heart. She looked at me and she said, um, Let's let them use our camper. In no time, the Tally family had a roof over their head and a new friend. She was so nice and a very lovable person. She's come to check on the family about three to four times since we had the trailer. Unfortunately, Dana lost her battle with cancer on June 27th, but she's left a lasting impact. It's just her smile. It's just how she reach out towards people to help them. Mary knows loss herself. So I lost my sister-in-law May the 18th. She says she is forever indebted to the woman who helped her family in their time of need. I remember that she said, we love you all. The last time that I seen her, and it made tears go to my eyes. Jamie Waters says it was not out of her character for Dana to reach out like that, and she's glad that her wife's memory will live on. Tamara Scott, 9 on your side.